Hello, welcome to Process Guide. My name is Michael Arolo, and I will be your guide on how to prepare a professional resume and employer we love. First thing you need to know before we start is that you will have more than one resume. This is to make sure that what you've documented on your resume actually meets the advertised vacancy published by the future employer. Therefore, it is important to know that not all sections will be relevant in your future resume. A resume has 5-7 to seven sections. We will discuss these sections in this video. 1. Title and Statements The title of your resume should be your full name. While the statement is a 3-4 to four line sentence explaining your career highlights, your career aspiration, and how you could be a great asset for the company if you are employed. 2. Contact Information All your contact information on how you could be reached should be in this section. Your address, telephone number, email, website if any, and relevant social media handle like LinkedIn. Do not include unprofessional handles like TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, except explicitly stated by the adverts. 3. Work Experience This is the first thing the hiring manager searches for. One of the easiest ways to capture his or her attention is to list your experience in a clear, concise, and visually interesting manner. To do this, start by listing your most recent professional position held. How you display this information is crucial. An inconsistent format will only confuse the reader and may lead your resume into the trash. Most importantly, make sure you highlight information that explains your past accomplishments, success, contributions, and learnings. The more they can relate to your position currently, the better your chance of being employed. 4. Education Focus on capturing your highest degree or educational achievement first. Then other degree can be in a reverse chronological order. Avoid adding your high school information if you have a college certificate. If you are still in school or running an educational program, this is a good place to let your hiring manager know. You can put your education above your work experience if you are a student or recently graduated and have little or no experience. However, if you have more than one year of work experience, your education should come after your employment history. 5. Skills Skills is a reflection of your acquired abilities. When tailored to the job description, it tells recruiters and employers right away that you are a good fit. Make sure you research the job position you are applying for and find out what skills are required for such positions. The following skills are still relevant till date. Use of Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint, Word, computer operation skills, and so on. 6. Reference Resume references are the names and contact information of people whom a potential employer can contact and learn more about your professional history, work ethics, and past job performance. In general, you should not include your references directly on your resume unless the employer specifically requested for it. 7. Language It will be good for your hiring manager to know your speaking and writing capability as far as language is concerned. No language is irrelevant. Add as many languages that you can speak or write in this section. Thank you for staying to the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and turn on bell notification in order to be notified when we release new videos. See you in the next one.